Yeah, Dave, I did talk to her, and as I was just mentioning a little earlier in the newscast, again, she wants to remain anonymous, and she just tells me that she was in complete disbelief. She was shocked when she watched this video, and now she's concerned about these students' safety overall, as many parents are as well, and she's telling me that this violence, these attacks, and these fights are not only happening right here at this school, but they're happening throughout many in the Valley. No, stop. This video of a student at Las Vegas High School beating another student repeatedly has been the hot topic among parents and students on social media. Teachers have their own thoughts. Very hard for me to see um, not only was a girl brutally assaulted, and that's what it was, that was not a fight, it was an assault, um, but now that's making the rounds and there were students in the background. I spoke to a teacher from her classroom and she doesn't want to show her face but says she's seen the video. This teacher says she would have stepped in to break up the fight, but she knows not everyone is willing to take that risk. Most teachers, their automatic reaction is, of course, I would jump in. Um, but when you see something going down, I, I think that kind of changes in the moment. She says she's seen this before. With recent teacher shortages, larger classroom sizes, and a lower amount of supervision, she feels students are getting more out of control. It's happening at a lot of campuses. Um, I see videos go around. I hear students talking about it. According to this teacher, the biggest concern for teachers is that they don't want to be liable if they get involved. But that is where the Clark County Education Association would step in. President of the Teachers Union, Marie Nysis, says it will defend all educators in these situations if they were to get involved. A teacher may use reasonable and necessary force. So, you know, they have to ensure the safety of, of of themselves as well as their students and if they're stepping in you know they're not gonna you, we're gonna be there for them cca will be ensured that the contract is being followed the ccsd high school teacher says it's vital to know the protocol for breaking up fights we just want our campuses safe you know we want them safe for our students we want them safe from for ourselves um, and it is hard to kind of know what to do because it has upticked all over the valley And now we still have no word on the condition of the girl that was attacked, but CCSD police have confirmed and have told us that the attacker was cited. Now, again, this is a developing story, and we're trying to work on more information to provide that to you as soon as possible. I'm Abel Garcia reporting live from Las Vegas High School in Sunrise Manor.